I'm gonna set up a couple of fireboxes, chicken soup, and we're gonna bake some cornbread. So we'll just get this firebox set up. Easy light fire starter right down the center of these Swedish fire torch setups. Let's see, I don't know if I need anything out of here. I don't think so. Okay, I've got the pan for you, babe. Go ahead and put the roof rack, which goes right into that handle bracket. And that should work for us. And we'll go ahead and let our oven preheat a little bit. We'll go ahead and slide that in. And that's getting hot pretty fast. You can see that's steaming already, so I think that's going to work out good. The slow heat on the bottom and on the top. I'm really impressed with the amount of heat that this Swedish fire torch stack of charcoal briquettes puts out. I mean, it's it takes a lot of heat to heat up three quarts of water. This is three quarts of soup, and it heated it up really quite fast. You can see it's actually starting to move around a little bit, like it's gonna boil soon. It's been about 20 minutes. The recipe calls for 30 to 35. So let's see what we got here. We'll at least check it now. Oh my goodness, it rose. <laughs> a little more than I was expecting. Let me see, let me see. Let me see. Let's, not too bad. let's see if it's done. Nope. It's not done. It should work out okay. So it's been 10 minutes. Okay. GSI pivot spatula. Oh, that a little good. sturdier than what I usually use. <laughs> oh yeah, it feels like it's done. It huh? looks like it looks really good though. You can see I didn't have the oven perfectly straight. It's <laughs> it's on an angle. Let's see if we can get it out. <laughs> I was going to say these paper cups have wax on them. Yeah, it's a little bit crumbly, huh? Well, it's going to split that piece in half, and then there's honey butter over there. This cornbread is like the most satisfying. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it.